the 2018 Ole Miss Rebels are building. Twelve months ago, the red and blue were faced with uncertainty and ambiguity, all while searching for their next architect. During the 2017 campaign, the crew learned even the slightest adjustment can make all the difference. A year later, the foundation has been laid by a man that has embodied the rebel spirit since birth, Matt Luke. The lifelong Ole Miss staple rallied his team around a blue-collar effort and enters the fall with an identity ready to capitalize on their triumphs and resolve the shortcomings from last season. With the dust settled on the Luke framework, it is clear the key for the Reb's success is his call and unwavering message to compete. And he isn't solely talking to his student athletes, but to his staff as well. Hey, do I need to call Matt Ball before we get started? Ask him what's the transfer rule for coaches. You got your blood pressure cup with you? Okay, we'll get you get checked that got blood pressure before you go out. Uh-oh, no, it's leaking right. It was left yesterday. It's going right today. Did you see that shot? That was awful. Get in the hole! You see that? Did you see that shot? Did you see that? Oh, he missed it. Oh! Hey. I want to let you win the first hole. That's a setup. Good, good hold, man. Good win. Good, good win. Uh, you, you know, we we found mine every time. I'm probably lost. Are you serious? Ain't been no snake or biting. When you're a full-time coach in SEC. There is no mulligans, baby. Let's go play. I'm going in people's pool. <laughs> why you why you cheering for me to go in the trees, man? That's... I just said don't go in the people's pool. Oh, you called it. Are you serious? Oh, man. We sorry. That's gone. That thing is gone. Oh, he just giving me strokes. Crime dog down one. Not for long. I just tucked my shirt in because of him today. I wanted to be like crime. Today, he may want to be like Freddie. Down two. And every great event is a turning point. It could be a movie, athletic contest, but it's always a turning point. You're getting ready to see it. Are you serious? You see that? Did you see that? Did you see that? Did you say pressure? Did you say pressure? Are you serious? Oh my gosh! So, didn't I tell you it was a turning point? I just told you it was a turning point. I love it. It's a little adversity. It is what it is. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go down. I'm gonna hit it up. Two putt and I have a pot. He'll choke. Did you see that? Did you see that? Should have pulled my griff and moved it. Sir, would you please put that knife down? You don't need it to cut that steak. That is center cut. Are you serious? I mean, I might give me 20 years of life, no chance of parole hitting the ball like that. I said, if I make that putt, you got no shot. You want to leave right now? I won't tell nobody if you left the course right now. My pleasure. Good to see my wife, Good. Good. My pleasure. You're a big supporter. Awesome. I love the shirt. Yes, love sir. the shirt. Your game. That's okay. I'm over here beating this boy so bad, he need a pause in this play. Are you serious? That's the way you attack. You're going to be a land shark? You got to attack. Four iron. Are you kidding me? That's what you call center cut. The Bulls and the Knicks back in the day, that's what it's going to be. And I'm the Bulls. I'm Michael Jordan. I told him he's in the middle of a turning point. It's like any other contest. You keep them around and make it entertaining. Then once you get them down, listen, I'm like a tattoo. Once I get on you, ain't going nowhere. No! I think you're down two with one to play. That turning point is unbelievable. He's down right now. I got to be careful because I don't want to ruin his confidence. Training camp starts next week. We got a whole season. I got to be real careful. Hey, how's your confidence? You good? Oh, huh? Daddy. You good? <laughs> hey, crying, this thing's getting ugly, baby. I didn't want to steal his entire confidence. I let him win the first hole, let him win the last one. But in between, you talking about a whooping, huh? <laughs> I mean, just look at his body language, huh? This is the press conference of a loser. Look at it. 
I mean, are you serious? Let's listen. No, he's been golfing since 72. When he was 25 is when he started golfing. So, but I'm, I'm golfing off athleticism. Played in the SEC, 5'9", 250, Division II athlete, just whooped it. Ah! <laughs> ah! The champ, baby! High five, we did it again, baby. Huh? No question. Hey, appreciate you guys. Hey, it was, I enjoy whooping him. Thank you for your time.